One of the coolest features in Excel to visualize your data is the use of the Quick Analysis tool. So in this example here under the Units column, you can see that each of the rows is represented by a bar. The row which has the highest bar means that it's representing the row which has the highest frequency. The bar which is the shortest is representing the lowest frequency. So as an example here for the unit cost, if we want to do the same thing as what we did for units, just highlight all the four rows and then this quick analysis icon is going to appear. Click on this one here and you will see the different options. There's an option for formatting, charts, totals, tables, spark lines. But in this case, I would just use formatting and then click on the uh, data bars. And same thing with the total, if you highlight this one here, click on this one and click on data bars. And as you can see here, the 9999.5 has the highest bar. And in this case here, the unit cost, which has the shortest bar, costs only about $1.99. If we want to use the other um, options in the, the quick analysis tool, what we can do is highlight this one here. And each of the, the columns is representing the days of those months where the items were purchased. And then click on the quick analysis tool icon and click on spark line and click on the line. And then if we copy that one, you can see that it's also showing a different trend line for that. So what this one is actually um, trying to represent is that for each of the bumps in your trend line is representing each of the, the days in that particular month you're looking at. And that's how you use the quick analysis tool in Excel. Sometimes you're dealing with data in which you have columns that have missing values for some of the rows. So in this example here, there is a column called region and there are some values that are missing. In fact, the values that are missing represent the regions above them. So in this case, the missing values for this one is for Luzon, the missing values for this one is for Visayas, and the missing values for this one is Mindanao. And I want to populate those values with their respective regions. So, so one way on how to do it is by highlighting this one. Click on F5 and then go to Special and click on Blanks. When you click on OK, you will see that all these ones are highlighted. And what you just need to do is just press on Control and then click on cell in this case i would click on cell a4 two times and that will highlight cell f4 so paste uh write a formula equal sign by copying the value above it instead of pressing enter press Control enter and that will populate those rows that are missing another option in getting you to this dialog box here is by clicking on find select and go to special and then you can click on blanks again so that is a very simple way on how to populate missing values in your data representing some of the segments or the groups in your particular column Two ways on how to concatenate two or more columns. First method is the use of concat function, and the other method is the, the use of ampersand. So in here, I have first name and last name, and I want to create a full name. By using the concat function, I would just type concat, and then click on the first name, comma, double quote, space, double quote, comma, and then the last name. And then there you go. So that's the use of the concat function. The other method is the use of ampersand, and this is how we do it. 
type equal sign and then click on first name ampersand sign double quote space double quote ampersand sign and then the last name enter and there you go There are some situations where some of the tables that you're working with have columns that are not showing the values properly. And that is because the column width of those columns are very small. So in this case here, column B and C do not show uh, their values properly. So one way to solve for that is highlight both columns and then click on the line between those two columns here, which is this one. If you double click on that one, it will already adjust this one. And that's actually how to solve the, the column width. And you're able to show already the, the values in each of those columns. However, if you'll notice here, some of the columns are not properly, uh, are not in the same width. There is a way on how to make them same width size by highlighting this one here, all the columns, and dragging any of the cells up to maybe width 12 or something like that. If you click on that one, you will see that all the columns have adjusted and they all have the same uh, column width and whatever I have applied on the columns it can also be applied on the rows so if you do like this one here if you highlight this one here and then move one of the rows a little bit longer you will see that all the rows adjusted as well so that's how to adjust the column width or rows in your Excel worksheet There are different ways on how to highlight a table. First option is by using a mouse. So place your cursor on the upper left corner of your table and then left click on your mouse and hold it down and drag your mouse down to the lower right corner of your table. And that's how to highlight it. The other option is when you're dealing with um, hundreds of thousands of rows where it is really impossible for you to to highlight the table using your mouse is to use the keyboard so what you need to do is place your cursor on the upper left corner of your table and then hold shift and control at the same time and then the arrow down and arrow right at the same time also that's how you do it the most commonly used option and it's probably the easiest of them all is the use of Control A shortcut key. So click anywhere on your data and press and hold Control and then press A. And there you go. To insert a column between item and units columns, right click on column E and then click on insert option and that's how to insert using your mouse to insert a column using your keyboard click on column E and then press on alt I and then C that's how to use a keyboard to insert a row using your mouse if you want to insert a row between 5 and 6 click on row 6 and right click on it and then click on insert and that's how to create a new row using your mouse. In Excel, it is very common that when you do perform a calculation, you have to make sure that you're fixing one area in your Excel to perform the right calculation. I have two examples here. Example one, is showing person one up to person four in a form of you know a row in example two is just basically the transposed version of this example one so when you do some calculation like for example in this case c9 which is value uh, 22 here multiplied by c2 which is factor 5 when you do that calculation and apply the same calculation to the other rows in your excel it will give you zero and that is because 
if you click on F2, it is multiplying it as it goes down, it starts multiplying it one level at a time from C2. So in this case, we have to fix row 2 here because when we move down, we want to make sure that we are multiplying it with C2 again. So in this case, one way to solve that is if we click on F2 and, and then click on F4 to make sure that this one here is fixing both columns and rows. You can do that one, but in this case, I would like just to fix the row. So this one is fixing the row. So if you enter that one and then copy it down to the next uh, rows, you will see that it has already fixed the calculation. So that is fixing C$2. In this case, we have to make sure that we're fixing C, which is the column here. So as we move one column to the right, we don't want the factor to move to D, E, and F where there's no value for it. So in this case, if we click on F2 and then go to the formula again, click on F4, that's the first one. It's fixing the column and fixing the row. Another F4 again, that's fixing the row. And another F4 again, and then that's fixing the column. So if you enter that and then copy this one to your right, So that's how to perform the right calculation in Excel, which you will encounter a lot of times when you, when you are doing a lot of calculation.